Oh, just, I've seen this, so it's more of a, like, I, I'm interested more in your reaction. Oh, yeah. You took but note. your point is valid. You took a note to the Constitution. Isn't it unconstitutional to say you cannot exercise your, your carrying license? With one exception, and that is if there's an emergency, and I've declared an emergency for a temporary amount of time, I can invoke additional powers. No constitutional right, in my view, including my oath, is intended to be absolute. There are restrictions on free speech. There are restrictions on my freedoms. In this emergency, this 11-year-old and all these parents who have lost all these children, they deserve my attention to have the debate about whether or not in an emergency we can create a safer environment. Because what about their constitutional rights? I took an oath to uphold those two. And if we ignore this growing problem without being bold, I've said to every other New Mexican, your rights are subrogated to theirs. And they are not, in my view. Uh, wait a minute, though. Okay. You're talking about crimes. There are already laws against the crimes, so how are their rights? I got it. But, but again, if I'm unsafe, who's standing up for that right? If this climate is so out of control, somebody should do something. I'm doing as much as I know to do. Madam Governor, yep. do you really think that criminals are going to hear this message and not carry a gun in Albuquerque on the streets for 30 days? Uh, <laughs> no. But here's what I do think. This is it's funny. A pretty resounding message. So I'll tell you this. this let me let me just, let me just read a little bit ahead. just to add to this. Uh, just for, for some of the people they might have not understood, maybe like just might help a little bit more. This provision makes it, it makes it a crime for someone acting under the color of law, quote unquote, an elected official, to uh, willfully deprive a person of a right or privilege protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. I understand that, but no, like I'm I, just adding a little bit. No, more. I hear it. I because she's saying that she's gonna like she's gonna make call an emergency, and with that emergency, she's gonna take people's rights to bear arm away. It's literally what she's talking about. Yes, she's proving the reason why we need the Second Amendment and why you need the rights to bear arm. And it is for people like her that want to overuse their power, government. If you have the ability to fight the government, and if the government goes to the point where they want to, because the cops are gonna have guns. That whoever else they may have to protect her, like her securities will have guns, whoever the case might be, then it justifies for the citizens to say, we need to have guns too, in case you want to abuse and overuse your power. And I think she just proved the reason why I think a right is a right. And yeah, and in, in that instance, she just gave it even more merit as to why, like, if I would have been that person, you're showing me why this amendment exists for people like you that will never stop taking power if they were able to. Because she's there even admitting, I don't think that criminals will stop using this, like will stop having guns. So what is the point of this emergency? The only point of this emergency is for her to feel like she has power over people and the ones that are gonna be affected the most are law abiding citizens, the ones that are not breaking the law to begin with. You took you took the way honestly. That's exactly what I what I was gonna use. I was like the I was thinking the only people that are that because she said it herself. But the criminals aren't the criminals are criminals. They're gonna do it anyways. So like you said, the only law abiding abiding citizens that are gonna hand in their guns or keep their guns yeah. at home or whatever. Like and it's gonna put them in the biggest risk that are that are supposed to be the people that are you that you are trying to protect the most. You know what this makes me think? You remember that video we made about Chicago and suing the car company? Yep. This is the same bullshit of like. The government is not doing their job. They're not policing at the level that they should be doing it. They're not enforcing laws that already exist at the way that they should be doing it. And they want to put little rules on the book that will make somebody feel safer, even though it won't impede the whatever kind of violence that has taken place to stop taking place. This is just one of those things for them to be able to say, I did this when they're running for office is not to actually stop any of these things from happening. It's just for her to like boost her ego and feel like she has power because she can enforce it and say, I can take your rights from you if I if I declare this an emergency. And how is this an emergency? I think I think it's a little different than that because in the in the Chicago one it was it was just a lawsuit for for it was a civil uh, civil suit for money. 
uh, against the car companies as opposed to she's actually passing a law that's that's going to like make a real difference because it is going to make a difference. I just don't think it's going to be a positive one. What well, it's going to make a difference into which case? In ne what negatively? It's not going to make a difference on what she wants to do. That's what I'm saying. I I personally think it's going to it's going to have a, a negative result, but it's going to have a, an, an effect. But it's just going to I think it's going to be negative. That's what I mean. But like yeah. what I'm saying is if you already have laws that because the guy mentioned it, these things are already a crime. So why don't you just enforce the current things that are crimes? Because I I don't think it has anything to do with that. Like the narrative that she's trying to push that that's what it's for. I don't necessarily think it is. I think it, it's more like the like the COVID thing where like they're just they're trying to take power from us. Because if she can get that passed through in the state of New Mexico, what's to stop that from getting passed through in a whole bunch of other states? And now they can literally take away our constitutional rights, which is the whole thing that this country was built on. Correct. The whole purpose of this country. So it's like it is. So really, the people in New Mexico got to stand up and make sure that they stop this for the rest of the country in a sense because then if not it's just going to continue to trickle down and then eventually it's going to get to the point where like we're china and we're living under like complete fucking rule like like it's not a, a democracy anymore yeah like that's what it can lead and like, and like the thing i don't like about this is that people that want to take away guns in this way are usually people that are not removing guns away from their own protection and what i mean by that is i guarantee you she has a security detail they are going to have guns. People that protect her office building, they're going to have guns. And they're going to have the ability to protect themselves using weapons. But you're saying a regular citizen doesn't have the right to protect themselves with a gun because we want to create this illusion of safety. And the thing when it comes to the debate of guns, while I, I feel like I'm very, very progressive in many things, this is one of those things that I probably am not. Most people who are afraid of guns and want more gun laws usually come from a place where they can never imagine themselves utilizing a weapon to defend themselves. They only think that somebody's going to use a gun against me. So that puts you in a place of fear, which I can 100% relate to. But when you find yourself in that situation, who you're going to call? You're going to want to call someone with a gun to come and defend you. So these type of things make absolutely like no sense. And it kind of proves the amount of power politicians would try to go after if they can because i think this is just an ego thing just to boost her own ego to be able to say i can control this that's this is all that it is because i think it's more than that. i don't think it's going to stop people from having guns the only thing that's going to do is going to make more people now have guns illegally because they're going to be breaking the law by whatever the hell she passes oh, yeah, under she's causing an correct. emergency so now so anybody who's currently emergency. illegally carrying a, a, a firearm automatically translates to being illegally carrying one yep. yeah I, I, but i like i said i think i think it's a little bit more than just a power trip i think i think that there's like this this is one of those things that had that has like a bigger thing in play and in effect that if because it once once if this goes through this law passes through and she like let's say this is the only state that that goes through right it's the second she calls in an emergency a 30-day window for whatever is going on or whatever and then and they start to see like an actual effect of this law. Other states mm. are gonna are gonna copy the same thing. Are gonna do the same thing. I get it. I understand that. So what will happen is that's what I mean. In this situation, that that's why I think it's a power trip. Because once it's in, then it can be used as an example for other people to make decisions moving forward. So another state can say, let's point to New Mexico and how they're doing it for X Y Z reason. But nobody thinks about the times like Katrina when it happened. What happened when? There was literally, like, as soon as the hurricane hit, there was, like, no form of aid. People started ravishing through other people's stuff. How are you supposed to defend yourself in a case of an emergency? You know what I mean? In case of emergencies, it's probably when you need the ability to protect yourself the most. And because the average citizen can't afford, like, a security detail or they're not, or, like, at that point, if there's an emergency, is the police are either going to be... Attending the emergency or fuck that emergency. I'm with my family. Like it's one even if it's not an emergency. Like, like like this is one of the things. That's what I think about. Like from a perspective of firearms, and like that's why I think like the first amendment and the second amendment to me, those two are absolute. Like everybody should have the ability to say whatever you want as long as you're not imposing on somebody else's right. And the same thing with the second amendment. Like everybody should, as long as you can legally carry it. And honestly, I think some people that technically cannot carry it out, I think should also be able to carry uh after a while because if you're able to come back into society supposed to be reformed so there should be the ability for you to regain those rights back that's just my mindset uh because now you're providing back into society but i think in this instance it's just 
that's when you're gonna need the most like I, I it doesn't make any sense to me that like these type of things it almost i don't want to say it triggers me but it makes me boiled because it's just a power thing like this is not going to have any effect at the moment and then when there's an emergency there's things that you probably won't even be able to re redo and now you look at places like hawaii when everything was burning down the people that were in charge of the emergency services let the people down so how are you supposed to trust someone that is talking like this when there are no emergencies what do you think is going to happen when there is an emergency uh i don't know i don't i don't i don't i don't think you should ever give up any any right if possible because once once we give that up you ain't you we can't get it back yes it's that, like that's the whole purpose of like what this of what makes this country so great let's know in the comments how you guys feel about this law how you guys think it, it will affect you do you think it's a power trip do you think it's it's something in, with a bigger thing in play like just let let us know how you guys feel about this if in whatever city or state you live in of this past um I'm, I'm very interested to find out how you guys feel about this please hit the like comment and subscribe we appreciate y'all for tuning into another episode. This is Never Famous.